how to change Shopify URL and store name. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in a super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like uh, via that way. I can actually see that this video was helpful for everyone. And yeah, let's just get started because it's super easy to do. So I'm over here in the Shopify admin and I'm here on the homepage. Now, first, I'm going to show you guys how to actually change your uh, store name. So then what we want to do is open up the settings. And here we go. We can already see store name. Uh, here you can see the store name as well. And what we want to do is because this is pr pretty much your profile and um, we want to click on the pen icon and here we can change it to whatever we would like to. So currently it's set to helpful online store. And what I can do is just change it to whatever I would like to. So let's say I just want it to be as helpful online. I like my YouTube channel. Then I can just change it just like that. Now here it has been changed. But as you can see here, it has not yet been changed in here as, uh, as well. So what I'm going to do is just refresh. And there we go. We can already see that it has been changed. Now, if I, for example, were to visit my online store, we can see it over here as well. Helpful online. And this used to be um, helpful online store. Now, how can we actually change our Shopify store URL? Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys right now. And what you want to do is simply go to the settings over here. Now, once you are here, you want to go to domains um, right over there. And here we can do a couple of things. So we can buy a new domain, we can connect an existing domain, or we can change our current domain. So currently, this is my domain. This looks really weird and ugly, as you can see. So what we can do is change this. If you need Shopify, but you're not sure yet, or you're already enjoying Shopify, or you know somebody that needs Shopify, and what you can do is bring your ideas to life for one euro per month. So what you can do is go to the link in the description or the pinned comment under this YouTube video and sign up for a free trial and enjoy your first month for one euro. So grab the deal now before it is gone. And yeah, good luck with your store. For example, I can type in helpful online and it will tell me that this URL is already in use. So what I can do is, for example, change it a little bit. And if I add a one, we can see that it is actually not in use anymore. But as you can see, my URL will always be .myshopify.com. Now you can obviously leave it like that with the myshopify.com. But this website over here offers very cheap and, you know, good domains for yeah, a pretty cheap price. And what we can do, for example, is simply go over here to domains and then to domain search. And by the way, I left a link in the description to this website uh, so you can easily access it just like that. But what we can pretty much do is just search for what we want. So my store is called Helpful Online, right? So what I'm going to do is simply just search for Helpful Online, click enter or click on find it. And there we go. We can already see helpfulonline.net, .org, .store, .online, .info. And we can see um, that even more of them will start loading. So we have a .com as well. And we have a bunch of different ones. Some are a little bit more expensive than uh, other ones. For example, this one is quite expensive, but this one is extremely cheap. I mean, .website is not like the best domain which you can have in my opinion. But for example, .store in this case is really good and obviously .com as well. And as you can see over here, uh, it's only $13 per year. Like that is just really cheap in my opinion. Now, once you have bought your domain on uh, web.com, for example, so let's say we have bought, for example, helpfulonline.net. What we want to do is simply go back to our online store and then go to uh, domains again and then to connect existing domain. Now, if you click on here, we have to enter our newly bought domain. Then you want to click on next and follow a couple of steps. And that way you have now added your domain to your Shopify store. Now, before you leave this video, 
Um, that new domain is not yet your primary domain probably and if that is the case so for example over here we can see helpfulonline1.myshopify.com let's say that is the uh, helpfulonline.net let's just pretend that is the newly added domain what we need to do is simply click on here and then here we can see a change domain type if you click on there we can see that we have to set this to the primary domain. So displayed in the address bar when visitors are browsing the online store. So change domain type, and we can see that is now our primary domain. And as you can see, it's here at the top now, and this is now our primary domain. So that is how to change Shopify URL and store name.